Well, hello, welcome everyone <laughs> um, to our second meeting. Um, and I'm wondering, should we start off with the minutes from the last meeting? Yes, sir. So um, the meetings from the uh, last meeting on August 22nd of 2022 of the Newbury Improvement Trust. Um, meeting was called to order. Uh, President Ben Armstrong, Mary Leary, Lynn Kettleson. Um, the group discussed roles. It was decided uh, that Ben Armstrong would be the chair, Lynn Kettleson would be the recording secretary, and Mary Leary would be responsible for communication with donors and community. Um, the discussion of the amount held by, uh, held by the Improvement Trust was had. Uh, town records show it is about $4,880. Um, the question of whether the trustees should encourage additional contributions was tabled to the next meeting. We will confer with the town administration and council on tax deductibility of contributions. The trustees will also check to determine whether it is necessary to sign an article of trust document. Um, resident Barbara Rogers questioned how much of the fund would be spent for the Newbury Senior Center Building Fund. She said it was her understanding that a majority of the money contributed was for the fund. Our next meeting is scheduled for September 19th at 4 p.m. And the record should show that uh, the actual meeting that's happening today is on September 26th at 4 p.m. a week later than from the minutes. Um, Thank you very much for the meeting um, minutes. Um, and I don't have. We need to formally approve them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just. So, uh, motion to approve the meeting minutes. Yeah. All those in favor? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. They are approved. Um, thank you for the assembly. I appreciate that. Um, that so, um, should we. Uh, I haven't actually um, printed out the agenda, so I don't have that. I'm sorry, I didn't bring extra copies. Oh, that, no, that's okay. I just want to. Um, so our first uh, item, approve the minutes. Yes, we've done that. Uh, second, continuing discussion. Um, are we required to sign a certificate of trust? Um, so I have uh, a little information about that. Um, when I asked, and we've. Uh, um, you received the, the same email from Tracy um, regarding this. Um, it's, it was unclear that we would have to, but it made sense to her that we would have to sign mm -hmm. a, a refreshed certificate of trust. Um, and uh, when I was just downstairs at the town clerk, I signed um, the, the um, document about, uh, I guess it's reappointment. Um, mm -hmm. to, to the board, um, but uh, she didn't have a certificate of trust um, uh, prepared as well. So um, I think we'll have to raise that question. And, uh, oh, I thought that's what I signed today. Yeah, that's what I thought I signed too. Yeah. Because oh, I already signed in. I, I did. Okay. I, already, oh, you know, I already. A couple weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hmm. I signed something. You signed something. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's quite. It's I quite thought it nice. said certificate of trust. That, that yeah, was that's my, what I thought too. Yeah. Okay. So. Then um, we may be in, in that case. It was a little hectic with the hubbub about yes, which you. group was meeting in this oh. room um, at the time. Um, so, yeah. you know, I think that's a good thing. You know that, you know, my my feeling is that you know we've clarified that, and we. We renewed it, so okay. that you know that's all right. That's, so I, I thought there was one step in the right direction. All right, great. So it sounds like we're um, up to date on that. <coughs> um, the second item: Should we encourage contributions to the trust um, on the agenda? By the way, uh, do you have any? Do you do you um, 
want to jump in about the question of the certificate of trust signing? No, I, I think I questioned it last meeting. That's why you right, yeah. and, and 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 I think that was a good call. Um, and there's a second good call that you had um, uh, that's coming up. <laughs> we'll discuss. Um, so um, our second agenda item: Should we encourage contributions um, to the trust? Um, What do we think? Well, I think we have two directions to go. Either we encourage contributions, or we uh, take the money that we have and designate it to the appropriate place that it, it should go to. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a roughly $4,880. Um, It's my understanding that there's nothing specific planned for the Council on Aging at this point. They're still mm -hmm. getting settled downstairs. And, um, but I'm certain they could use some money for additional programs and works and things <coughs> of that sort. So I think that's the other direction we could go in. Can I insert myself? Please, please. It's for it's a building fund. Yeah. It's not. It's not for programs. It's not for programs. Okay. It was the senior center building fund. Okay. Yeah. So I I, I do think you know if you look at the the stated when the trust was formed it, it was meant to be for it, it I think it could be used for some kind of programmatic things, like town celebrations, that sort of thing. Yes, that's um, But I think the intent was pretty clear. It's really meant to be some capital improvement or something where mm -hmm. um, it's not being used just to supplement a, a recurring budget mm -hmm. or <coughs> program. Um, so I, I mean, I, I think my argument would be to to you know, save that money, and when we are when we have more clarity about what will happen with the senior center, um, that that would be the time when we start mm -hmm. to say, okay, here's here's where we can get involved in a meaningful way, mm -hmm. um, and in the meantime. I'm I'm un, I'm unsure about the question as, as to encouraging donations, right? Because uh, I um, haven't yet, and I intended to before this meeting, but I will before the next meeting um, make a donation to the, the trust. Um, but I also don't feel like we're um, we're anywhere near um, having a project to spend money. Mm -hmm. um, and um, until I think we have more clarity about what the senior center will be, and I think that's the only project that yes. that's kind of obvious <coughs> in mm -hmm. front of us. Yeah, um, that it might be difficult to to beat the bushes for donations to it. On the other hand, I do think it's worth making people aware that the trust exists, and if people are looking to make donations, they're welcome to do so. Okay, that's, but that seems like a bit of a mixed message. Yeah. I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings, too. It, you know, I think it, it's important that, you know, it's, it go to the senior center, mm -hmm. um, but um, you know, if we wait until the senior center has been voted in, I, I uh, you know, I, <laughs> I don't know, I've lived here long enough that we always have grumblings about taxes going up. So I, I don't know that there'd be, people would be terribly receptive to making donations at that point. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know whether we should encourage donations earlier um, and you know, to, you know, 
know, so so that there's something, so that there's more money there, you know, for programming and whatever goes on. I mean, it's, it, I guess I'm confused. Of, you know, the, the building. F are you saying that, Barbara? You're saying that the the money is actually, you know, to build the building. I mean, to go towards building the building. Absolutely, one hundred percent. It was the senior center building fund. Okay. It was so it's not, not programming. It's it not furnishing. It's not no technology. No. <clears throat> okay. The, go ahead. Go ahead. Say what you're going to say, and then I'm going to jump. In. Should I say who I am? So people uh, know. Sure. Yes. Uh, I'm Barbara Rogers. I live at one fifty seven Scotland Road, Newbury. If you don't do anything, in I don't know when they'll decide that they need a senior center. It depends on how well this one downstairs does. Will it be 10 years? Will it be 25 years? You're going to still have the same amount of money, which is a shame. Mm -hmm. It's sitting there and sitting there. Nobody knows it's there. Very few people know it's there. Let's change that. Yeah. Very few people. And that's a shame. That was not what it was intended for. Um, I'd just like to clarify the 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 money donated for the senior center to the Newbury Improvement Trust is for the senior center. Yes. But the Newbury Improvement Trust isn't limited to the senior center. I Absolutely just wanted to not. That. And it is not. I don't know, I have my papers, how much money is in it. That is not all. Something has to be done to find out or come to a decision about how much of that is for the Senior Center Building Fund. Nobody knows. Something has to be done to take care of that problem. My, my feeling, and I, I don't speak for the rest of the board, I'll let them speak, but it is that um, the money that's in the, the account now, um, the vast majority of it is for the senior center. There but, are some, some yeah, donations that... Not 100% though. So how do you... And one time I talked to town um, administrator, she told me she believed there was a section of the Attorney General's office that handled problems, problems like that. I don't know. <clears throat> I have no idea. But something has to be done to... It's not fair to just say, okay, this much, or, or you know, I don't know. I don't know how the Attorney General's office handles it. Well, what, is there is there a list of donations and how much the donations and what the intent was? We don't have that in our paperwork. I, I, I have um, from my files a fragmentary list, like very little information um, about uh, some of the donations. Um, but the vast majority of those were for the senior center. And um, by recollection, the um, when the trust was was started, the senior center, you know, the the building fund was the key um, uh, um, driver for donations to the new improvement trust. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, we can we could start an awareness campaign, you know. That's right. You know that, you know this this exists, mm -hmm. and if you so choose, you can donate to it, and we would you know it would be you know, tell me if I'm wrong, um, and it would be for the senior center building, you know, the, the, right? Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't. So it's not to confuse things, yeah. right? Well, not only that, but I thought to, to that point. It occurs to me that um, you have a lot of people, you know, that are, are going to be selling homes and downsizing. There are, you know, 
you can always include something in wills mm -hmm. and, and things of that sort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that should be part of. So I think that should be part of the the awareness campaign. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, I mean, I don't know how you, how the nitty gritty of that works. You know, if somebody came to vote and said, I want to give you, you know, I want to leave you something out of my will, you know, they obviously have to, they have to jump on it and <laughs> get them, yeah. get them the right paperwork. I guess we talked to Don Council about that. And, yeah, you know, exactly. And once, once we do it, then, right. you know, we've got the patent for it. Exactly, but you'd also have to know you know, who they were and whose will it is and things of that sort. So you're aware of when that person is finally deceased that this money might become available. Mm -hmm. But I suspect there could be substantial sums there, possibly. Mm -hmm. Maybe. That's a good idea. So... That, that sort of makes sense to me at this point, to, 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 be, to make people aware that it exists. That, that's a yes. step in the right direction, I think. Exactly. And, you know, um, what do you think the, the best method for that is, right? I mean, I, to me, like saying, hey, we're the Neighbor Improvement Trust, we're here. Um, and if you'd love to send us money, we're, you know, we're, we're here for you. Um, it's one thing, but it does, it's, that's not a very compelling message, I, I think, um, as factual as it is, and as much as we'd like people to, um, to donate um, to the trust for mm -hmm. the town um, and for building the senior center and for other projects as they come up. Um, so, should it be targeted towards the senior center? Should it just be an awareness campaign that the Newbury Improvement Trust exists? If you'd like to um, give money to the trust that can be used for um, town projects, should it be focused here? You know, senior center. This is. Which seems I, compelling to yeah. me. My, my past experience with these sorts of things um, is that you know, we should probably set some general parameters about what you could donate for. In other words, it could be the senior center. It could be there, there, there were the, yeah, the, some of the other um, things in the trust. It could be for beautification. It could be for, I don't know, capital improvements of some specific kind. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, so that when we begin to accept these funds that we know where yeah. they're supposed, they That's should directed. be going. Yeah, yeah, it should be directed. Yeah. yeah. But I think, you know, just send up set up maybe three or four. Well, it says it someplace here, and I think yes. there are three or four. In Article so. 6 that we voted on in town meeting. Is it Article 6? Number one. Um, furthering certain goals of the town, including the holding of appropriate anniversary celebrations, the general betterment and beautification of the town, yeah. and its making of capital improvements. So it doesn't specifically in that, say, senior center. Capital no. improvements covers that. Mm -hmm. But it also could mean numerous other things. Mm -hmm. And it should, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but since we've already got money that's designated for the senior center, it seems to me that we ought to honor those kinds of... Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, are we opening up, you know, a whole bag that, you know, all of a sudden, you know, somebody wants 
you know, we're pretty we're pretty stable on capital improvements right now, you know. Yeah. So, but um, says Mary who <laughs> hopes them, right? Well, I mean, think what if someone were to say, I'm going to give to the Newbury Improvement Trust. I'm going to give you five hundred dollars for a dog park, you know. Something no one's happen. really right. yeah, that I'm aware of. No one's considered right. Um, but uh, what would we, what would we do with that well, if the town isn't going to build a dog park? Right. Or are we going to have that money sitting in the improvement trust as cited well, for a dog park? I need to tell you, my experience is you can you can refuse the money mm -hmm. for that reason. Yeah. In other words, <laughs> I hate to say that. If yeah. it's too if it's too if it's just not in the not in the like in the plan, the master plan, you know, you know, right. it's not on the table. Mm -hmm. Um, so they, you know, they just refuse that, and, and they try to redirect the donor, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, and I think the approach I was going to suggest was that somebody considering such a donation approach us and we'll sit down with them and the appropriate people in town, I'm assuming town council and, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the financial folks, and say, okay, what's, then we'll hear their proposal and then we can, I, I agree, you know, you said, no, we, we can't take it for, there's no dog park. Yeah, in the plan. In the plan, yeah. but would, you know, how about, the, the, you know, just have a, a general discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I think that's the way, it, you know, generally gets handled. I mean, it's a nice problem to have. Yeah. <clears throat> so if we are going to let people know um, about the Nibri Improvement Trust, obviously the Senior Center is the the leading item mm -hmm. um, for donations because that's topical. It's on the way. We think you know there's movement, um, and um, what else? I, I'm not sure. I know of anything new other than the senior center, which would be attracting donations. So it could be senior center or just a gift to the trust to be used for the purposes as laid out in the mm -hmm. in the warrant. Right. Well. Which gives us tons of latitude, right? That's yeah. right. And so people would have to trust us, which uh, that does, I mean, from this perspective, you know, I, it, it sounds OK, but I don't think as a donor it would sound very compelling, <laughs> <laughs> you know, from a donor's perspective. What would you want to hear? Of oh, projects? Mm -hmm. um, that's the thing. I don't know of anything after the, the senior center mm -hmm. um, that the town has going on. I mean, I, if we get to building another town hall, some people may want to donate mm -hmm. to that. That's what I was going to suggest yeah. is assuming the town hall moves forward at some point and someone want to give X thousand dollars to have uh, a meeting room named after them or something like that. Mm -hmm. And is that something that we have the ability to designate? Because if the town is building it, yeah, the town probably names, does the name it. If the money comes from the trust to to pay for it, I could see where there would be a claim on it, but I'm not sure that they'd have to honor it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know the which, answer. Uh, yeah, which I, I, I don't. I, I think we're we're too detailing. You know. I okay. Mean, you know. I, I think we just have to make a, a campaign to make people aware. Uh, that this trust even exists, mm -hmm. and um, you know, put it in the newspaper, put mm -hmm. it in that that kind of thing, and 
and see what happens and see if somebody comes forward and you know obviously you know we're committed to the senior center <laughs> leaning in that direction mm -hmm. and we just so maybe is it that when we're publicizing it that we say the Newbury Improvement Trust exists we're accepting donations with a focus on the senior center mm -hmm. I would say at, that, at the moment yeah I would say the first project we're looking at is the, the senior center yeah mm -hmm. and that way people understand that that's what we're what we have in mind mm -hmm. um, we already have money designated for that yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, you're a PR person, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's, not, he's getting stuck. Can I open it? Huh? Can I open it? Sure. Um, so, Barbara, mm -hmm. do you do you have comments on on what we've just been discussing about about publicizing the? the I think it needs to be. Yeah. How? <laughs> Don't know. Yeah. You know. But yeah, like I said, it's going to end up in another 20 years like it has for the last 20 years. And that's a shame. 15 years, you know. When people donate money, they donate money in good faith, you know. And this has not worked out so far, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, clearly, the people were believing that the senior center would be built long ago. And that oh, I think so, yeah. yeah. I think so. And that and hasn't happened, so. Didn't happen, yes. Yeah. Um, the good news is when it does happen, we're there. That money hasn't really been earning interest. <laughs> no. You know, <laughs> no one's been earning interest. No, no, uh, now uh, it's uh, starting to happen, actually, but that's not good news. <laughs> um, so, okay. Okay. All right, so, um, uh, C on the agenda are donations tax deductible um, and they are tax deductible um, so uh, according to Tracy's um, email to us um, and if people donate to the um, uh, Newbury Improvement Trust and would like a letter from the town regarding the tax deductibility the town will furnish that okay. um, I don't think that we, from what I'm reading, I, we don't, um, we won't be the ones to furnish it. Um, uh, take the way Tracy phrases it, donations to the fund are tax deductible, and the town will provide a receipt as documentation for anyone who wishes to donate. Yeah. Um, they but must be sure to note that they want the funds deposited into the new improvement <coughs> trust for it to be tax deductible. She doesn't say anything there that we would be made aware of the, that donation, right? Um, I mean, sh I, if I'm going to be communicating, I want right. to know. So one of um, the reasons I want to make a donation is to test the process. Test that process, right? Yeah. What should happen is when a donation is made to the Never Improvement Trust, um, the trustees should be notified of it the town accountant should deposit that money into the trust account. Um, and then if I were to say I'd like the tax deductible letter, mm -hmm. um, which honestly kind of feels to me like it should come automatically. Um, yeah. But um, it's probably easier to do that when <coughs> like there's online donation. We're not set up for yeah. online. Right, right. Um, so, um, but that's the, the way the process should work. Mm -hmm. um, and what um, we should do is also keep records for the trust ourselves and any of our successors of who gave what and for um, what. And for what. That would, and that would be part of my function, I guess, you know, because I, I think, you know, yeah, I think yeah, sort of the two of us working together. <clears throat> yeah. and, and I'm unclear about where those records sit, um, but they should 
stay with the trust. So it, like if you were to <coughs> the trust, mm -hmm. somehow we should get those records, mm -hmm. keep them current um, in a way that, that could be accessed. Yeah, that's a good so question. You know, I, you know, I can certainly find that out. You know, if, when when we get it, you know, yeah, you know, I. I'm going to start making a list of the donations and for what they are, what they're intended for. You know, I want to be able to pass that on to somebody. You know? Yeah. So. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, and maybe maybe the best, maybe one way to do it is you have a central record, and as donations come in, you update that central record. It gets distributed mm -hmm. just as a matter of an administrative function mm -hmm. um, that you've received a donation. Who gave it? When? How much? And that way, mm -hmm. Lynn would have it. I would yeah. have it. You would have it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a way of doing that. The Lois Smith, you know, I'm on that trust. Mm -hmm. And when there's a donation, there aren't. It's not much going in now, but when you know the, the little scattered ones after the fact, um, you know, all of a sudden I'd get a, an email from somebody mm -hmm. um, just to, because I was a member of the trust. So, so you know, it's not. It, there's a standard procedure. Okay, great. <clears throat> um, all right. So test the system anyhow. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> that's the idea. <laughs> so, so we know. Uh, any comments on that section, the tax deductibility, or only in keeping records? That's the key. The key part. Of our yeah, yes, it is yeah. the key. But records disappear with time. Um, somebody passes away. You know, where if if an individual is keeping records, what happens? They don't always end up where they should be. Yeah. So there needs to be some, I don't know what, a backup, I don't know. But um, keeping records is a terrific idea. But, yeah, you have to do it so that, yeah. I wonder it's if... There's a fail safe. What do you do if? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if we could ask the town account when the, because the conduit for donations runs through the town account. Mm -hmm. that she keep a, a separate ledger for the Newbury Improvement Trust, recording each donation and the purpose of the donation. So that, you know, you, you would, as our person on the, the board who's seeing donations, mm -hmm. would have your own record of that. But the town council would have their own record that because it's a town document, is always available. That that might be the the most robust way to ensure that that everything is recorded and survives any of us mm -hmm. leaving the orb or getting hit by a bus or if an asteroid hits this meeting room. <laughs> you know. Um, so, do you want me to talk to the town um, accountant? That might not. Would you mind? Doing no, that? I wouldn't. Okay. I'll do it. And 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 that way, that way, it's not up to us creating a sort of haphazard, yeah, record keeping. Mm -hmm. Right. I can just ask them what's, what's the procedure, and yeah. hopefully he has one. <laughs> yeah. And because I, it, it's my understanding that that um, in the past it's only just been, uh, you know. We receive a check, we notify the trust, we deposit it. And so we're, they're not recording the name, the purpose, oh, right. et cetera, of the donation. Mm -hmm, yeah. And that would be immensely helpful. Yeah. Um, and probably wouldn't take a lot of right. effort on their part. Mm -hmm. um, that seems like a solution. So let's yeah. put that as an agenda yeah, item and that, a right. follow up item. Because that, that's really the intent. I, I, you know, we need to know how much and who and what for and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 
There was the annual report. <laughs> and we're getting there, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, can town accountant. Sorry, I'm uh, writing it down just so I remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 no. It's a hummingbird memory. Um, um, sorry. Yeah, so where where do we fit in the annual report? So from Tracy's email, um, this is uh, going back to your question about the annual report. Um, when I was reading that section, I thought that the, um, the, the, group, the certificate of, you know, mm -hmm. accountants. Of, mm -hmm. Well, it turns out, yes, we should file an annual report. <laughs> so um, we will have to do that um, as, as a board, um, and we need to communicate that through the town's annual report. Um, so we should probably discuss um, what needs to be in there. And, I, and I, there are certain obvious um, items. I've looked through um, the most recent town report, and Various boards go on in length or are extremely short. Okay. <laughs> um, brief about about uh, what it is, but but. So if it's a free, right? Um, so <laughs> I, and I'm not sure what um, when we will have to you know submit that report mm -hmm. to the town for inclusion in the annual report. So. I guess my first question is timing on that. Yeah, um, finding out when. Yeah, when do we need yeah, to prepare so the time before, before the meeting. annual town meeting? Yeah, yeah. Right. so it'd, it'd have to be well, sometime before the warrant gets put together. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, because um, and then um, for for the contents of that, obviously we're going to you know say who we are, um, probably include something about the purpose of the Newbury Improvement Trust, so people are familiar, um, and um, that uh, how much money we have in the account, um, probably how much money has been donated in the past year, and then how much money has been dispersed from the Newbury Improvement Trust. And um, over the, the previous year, mm -hmm. um, and probably listing what those disbursements are. Um, so um, that people know what we've been up to, right? Um, can you think of other? I would also include, you should probably put in there that we are accepting yes. donations and requests and and contact information. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. great. That's a great idea. You know, yeah. So. Uh, <clears throat> and that they are tax deductible too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, and tax deductible. Yeah. Um, Robert, do you have any additional info, like or thoughts about what we should have in the annual report? Other. I don't than think those? so. Okay. Just so they know you're there. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that's... That's basically... Yeah, yeah. that's good. Um, so, okay. Um, you are the Board of Commissioners. Yeah. As trustees. Yeah. That's why it's your job to do that. Yeah. So, and I'm not sure that we've ever done, like even in the very beginning, um, that we did that. but. Now it appears we should have been doing that, so we will get doing that. Um, anything else on that? No. Okay. Um, and Lynn's uh, final um, item is, is the obvious project the senior center, um, which I think we've pretty much discussed. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that it is. Yeah. Um, um, but for the um, 
for letting us, for introducing us to people in town. Um, yes, the senior center, but I think also at this point that we're available for people to to make donations in their wills or trusts mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. um, uh, be used for town beautification, capital improvements in the town as we're set up for in, in our warrant and certificate. Mm -hmm. um, consider your third item, third agenda item. Um, consider reaching out to the Daily News on added contributions. Yeah, the question is how do we raise awareness? And you know, once we, we've reached these sorts of conclusions, then um, it does make sense to at least make people aware that we're out there, that, that we have certain funds, the, the pride, the, the main project right now is the, the senior center and, uh, but we're open for business. And who would you do that with besides the Daily News? Do you know? I mean, I mean, it's hard to reach people in this town. You it's know? very hard to reach. There is, here's what I would do, is that I'd first try to get a, a an article in the Daily News, and I think we could do that mm -hmm. without a lot of trouble. Then I would put a link from that to, there's a couple Facebook, um, there's the kind people of Newbury oh. slash Byfield, yep. and there's a, one or two others. But then I would link, assuming the article is factual and and things of that sort, and, and then put a link from that into the kind people of Newbury Byfield. Mm -hmm. And that reaches, I, I think, some thousand yeah. uh, I mean, I don't know, plus people. Yeah. <clears throat> and, so, and then on the website? Then I would, yeah, yeah, then I'd also yeah. try to get something on the town website. Those seem to be the only... That's a... It's a